YouTube, what's going on? Tech King Mike, and we're back with another video. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Binx Armor Pro for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, if you guys saw my one of my recent videos, I checked out the Armor Air for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and I gotta say that this quickly became one of my favorite cases. I loved the 360 degree protection around while still keeping that minimal form factor with the carbon fiber for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But one of the things about this case that I did not like, and I'm not gonna put it on because it is it is hard to take this off, <laughs> so I'm not gonna put it on. But one of the things that I did not like about this case is if you can kind of tell right here, there's not a lot of protection when it comes to the screen itself. There's just not a lot, there's not a lot going on there. So I decided that I wanted to check out the Armor Pro case. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. I already took it out of the box. I already messed with it a little bit. This is my new favorite case. Like this is without a doubt my favorite case and will probably live on my phone <laughs> after it is all said and done. So this is the Banks Armor Pro. So again, nothing really new with the box. We still get the 6000D built with DuPont Kevlar, thin and light, enhanced impact resistance on the back. Nothing really new. Same thing as it was with the Banks Armor Air packaging. But as you guys will see as I open it up here, I'll go ahead and pop this bad boy open and pull this case right on out. As you guys will see here, pretty much nothing else inside of the packaging, just like with the Armor Air, so nothing really new to see there. You can already see a few differences. So I'm going to see if I can get the camera to focus in on this for you guys. You can already see a few differences. Okay, You see where the carbon fiber cuts off on the side? That's because this one is full protection as you can see full protection around now you still have your mag safe on the inside so that's always a bonus you still get your mag safe but you've got full protection so just to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a comparison see the difference in the two still got all your camera cutouts and everything all your buttons are good to go everything is pretty much the same except look at the bottom here full protection so let's go ahead and pop it on the phone and see how it looks and we're gonna pop in camera first and then bottom now as you can see all the buttons work pretty good buttons work good up and down volume work good I don't like the fact that there's a little bit if you guys can see in there I don't like the fact that there is a little bit of a like slit on the button that means that dust can get inside of there, so you may have to take it off every now and then and clean it up, but that's usually not a big of a deal. A lot of cases are doing that nowadays, so it just kind of is what it is. But look at the back on the camera bump. I do love this accent on the camera bump. I think it's really nice. I like the fact that it's protected. I wish that it was individual cutouts for each uh, camera, camera ring, but I like the fact nonetheless that there is some separation. I don't like the camera cutouts that are just like one big... Uh, shape like one big P as people like to say it uh, Paul's I don't like that but I wish that you know I wish that there was a little bit more definition in it but this looks really good now this case is about the same price as this one like there's not that big of a difference in price so you're gonna be going from thin and light and minimal to more durable like more of an everyday type of case like this case for me is like a i'm traveling in the car or on the plane and i want to just you know slap something easy on because I'm, i know i'm not doing anything except sitting around with the phone i'm in a carpeted area something like that right i wouldn't trust this case out and about in the wild especially when it comes to drop protection like there's nothing here on these corners that's going to protect your phone if you drop this case it's just straight impact nothing you can do about it this on the other hand this is going to give you that impact protection now as you can see with the real carbon fiber you do have those fingerprints on the back already so we'll give that a quick wipe down here just to, just so you guys can see how pretty it looks I'm using a t-shirt behind the camera but it's all good so as you can see that carbon fiber looks great and it's got and you can see the carbon fiber on the inside with the mag safe so of course you have your cutouts are your cutouts line up just right I get that to focus for you guys sorry guys the camera's acting like it doesn't want to focus okay so you get your cutouts got a nice little slit for your speaker a little microphone hole there big enough for a USB-C get your S Pen you can pull the S Pen out very easily no issue with the S Pen and then of course you have your cutouts at the top for your microphone at the top 
those work out pretty good. And then of course, like I said, the screen screen is very well protected. As you guys can see, the screen is very well protected. So I would honestly say that this is the Binks case that I would buy. If I had to choose between this one or this one, I do recognize that they are for two different markets. Okay, there are two different types of markets for these cases. This is for the thin, light, minimal crowd. This is for the ones who they never drop their phone. They never have any issues. This is the only case that they want to carry around. Completely understand that. Have fun with it. This one is the type for people who they want that same thin and minimal light feel, but they want to have protection. I wish I had a scale to give you guys an idea of the difference because honestly, holding the two of them without the phone, they're not that they're not that big of a difference. Except this one has that TPU material along the edge, and it's just full protection on the phone. So I think moving forward, this is going to be the case that I choose to run on my S24 Ultra. But let me know down below in the comments which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Binx Armor Air or the Binx Armor Pro? Okay, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. It's your man Tech King Mike. Peace.